YouTube, how are you? It's been a while. If you're one of those people that subscribed to my channel last year and you haven't seen any videos from me, I am really sorry, but this year I decided that I am going to upload more videos. Even if people don't really watch them, I am going to do it because I think it's great for me to have this and be able to go back in a few years' times and just watch all of the videos and everything that I've done. As I said, it's been a while. Um, my previous videos pretty much talked about my first bikini competition, which I was going to participate uh, in 2017, and I did. Obviously, it's 2018. Um, the competitions have passed. They happened already. So in this video I'm going to talk about a little bit about the 2017 season, do a little recap and everything that happened, as well as telling you about what are all of my plans for this 2018 season, which is pretty exciting. Again, I apologize if people don't really understand my accent, I'm trying my best, but as you know English is not my first language, so... Sorry. If you are new to my channel, you probably won't know, and if you are not new to my channel, you know. Um, in April last year, I decided to compete for the very first time in a bikini competition, so I could just have a goal um, that I needed to reach in order to have the physique that I wanted. Uh, I had been going to the gym for a really long time and I was pretty much like lacking motivation and I was not being really good with my nutrition and my training so I decided that in order to be accountable for my nutrition and my training I needed to do something. I needed to set up a goal but a goal that actually will allow me to reach the physique that I wanted to. That being said, the only way that I saw that I was going to be able to resist temptation, actually go to the gym as many times as I needed to go and push hard on all of my workouts was being on a stage in front of a lot of people in a really teeny tiny bikini so anytime that I wanted to eat a cake not that I eat a lot of cakes because I'm allergic to dairy so not many mm, vegan cakes in the market at the moment that I will buy but anyway, anytime that I wanted to have a cheat or something I would actually tell myself is this worth it? So yeah, I decided to do the competition and I started my six months journey to competition and that's what I was going to actually film and post in this channel last year. And it didn't happen. It didn't happen because I have a Spanish channel, which is my main channel really, and doing videos for that channel, which is three times a week, Plus this channel was too much so I stopped. But this year I organized myself better and I'm going to do it also because I've had a few requests from people that I know that they said they don't understand my videos because they're all in Spanish so I need to do English ones. Anyway, I started my six months journey to my first bikini competition which was in October uh, 14, 2017 in York. And I competed with the Federation UKUP, UK Ultimate Physics, which I have to say, if you're thinking about competing and it's your first time, for example, and you don't know much about federations, UKUP is your federation. They are great. And actually, they make the whole experience so amazing that you, you're going to want to compete again. Yes. This was going to be just my like the previous year was going to be my only competition, that's the only thing I was going to do, that was my only goal. And after being with UKUP for the 2017 season, I was just like, I enjoyed it so much that I decided to compete this year as well. So the first show was in York, as I said, there were regionals, it was the Northern qualifier. Um, I didn't expect to place at all, like I was just going there because it was my end goal to be able to actually show all my effort and my hard work uh, on a stage. I just I, I just went there to have fun and to be able to actually, you know, enjoy the day. Uh, I was wearing a super amazing bikini done by Bikini BKB. Um, so I just, I just felt like I had everything, you know? I was just like, had an amazing bikini, amazing glam. I was like, super happy with the way my body looked. Um, and you know, I just like, stepped on the stage like super happy. I didn't care about the results at all, I was just like, this is it, I made it, I'm here, 
and I am super happy. The experience was so amazing, the girls are like... Seriously, I really thought that because I've competed before in other sports, I was doing competitive cheerleading, I did figure skating, I did many, many, many other sports, and always backstage is this kind of like beachy feeling, like mm, I hope you fall or mm, I hope you forget the dance or whatever. Uh, so I kind of like expected this thing in here, you know, like okay, everybody's here, everybody wants to win. Um, and I was so surprised that was not the case. Everybody was so supportive. Every single girl, like, you're in the same category, you know? You're, like, about to step on a stage. And everybody's like, good luck, you're looking amazing. So I'm, I'm just, like, so happy to have chosen this sport uh, and actually discover it because, yeah, I just feel, like, support everywhere. Like, really nice that the girls you're competing against, in a way, um, are encouraging... Like, <sighs> bad, bad are encouraging you, encouraging you, I think so, so much um, the day of the show, you know, uh, so you don't feel there is any, like, you know, fight or anything for, for a place to place, you know, to place on the competition, so you just like, as there is no such pressure, you enjoy it more and then you go on the stage like feeling more relaxed and enjoying it and I think that's actually one of the things that uh, the judges like as well, you know, like seeing you enjoying the time on a stage uh, and be happy because obviously you're like, that's not really appealing. So I competed in those regionals um, and I competed in two categories, in bikini model and bikini beginners, short because <laughs> I'm tiny. Um, I'm five foot, so yes, I'm small. Um, surprisingly, I placed in both categories. Uh, I was top five in four in that. I was top five in both of them, and then I was fifth in bikini model, and I was second in bikini beginners. I was just like, like I didn't expect at all to place that high in beginners. Because I thought I liked the way I looked, but I thought my physique was not perfect as to be able to place high, like top three in beginners. I thought I would I would have more of a chance in model maybe, because it's like they look at other stuff, not just like the physique. Um, but yeah, I got second. I was so happy, and obviously I didn't think about doing any other competitions afterwards. That was like gonna be my last one, but. Placing top five means that you're invited to compete in the British finals with UKUP. Which were two weeks after this regional. So obviously like doing so well, like something that you didn't expect at all and place. It's like, well, I guess I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to go to the finals now that I'm here. I already paid for a bikini, so I just must do it again and yeah. Wear my bikini again. Have another chance to wear it have another chance to do my makeup on my hair, have another chance to be on a stage because I have to tell you, I love a stage. Since I'm very, very little, I love being on a stage. I used to do drama, I love singing, and I would just go in front of a stage and I will sing and dance and perform. So yeah, you give me a chance to be in front of people in a stage, I'll go and take it. Yes, we went to the British finals, we prepped for another two weeks and I went there again with no expectations at all because this time, if before I didn't have any expectations because I thought it was going to be hard this time it was going to be either harder because you're competing against the best of the best like all of number ones and second places and third places like the best, the top are there competing so I was just going there like okay I prefer for two more weeks I'm gonna enjoy the stage again, I'm gonna see all of the girls that I met in my previous competition uh, and it's gonna be even better because now I know people. That day was amazing, it was very long, I have to say it was long, long, long because there were so many competitors. Uh, literally in, in both my categories there were like 15 plus girls, so yeah, it was a long day. And again I was blown away because I placed top 5 again in both categories, I was like Seriously, like, the 
quality of all the girls, like the competitions, like the girls there were insane, all of them. It was just like so difficult. I was like, I'm not gonna place at all. I have just such a great day. I can wait to eat my chocolate chip flapjacks after, you know, that was it. That was all I was going for. And uh, I got called top five. I was like, yeah, this is amazing. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be fifth again. That's fine. At least I just get like a little medal and recognition and I'll be happy. I got third place in both categories third place in the British finals in my very first bikini competition nobody would have thought that like nobody n no one that I've talked to no one that I like follow my journey thought that I was I was going to do so great so I was like I was I was in in heaven like oh I placed this is so amazing I'm so happy but the best is not that you know Usually they give pro cards to the winners of each category in the British finals. However, this time in certain categories they gave pro cards to the top two and top three. Um, people that they saw they had potential or that they were doing really well, they will get their pro cards as well. So I remember being on the back in the model category uh, and I was holding hands with um, Sky and Liberty. We were just there and I was like, have they said that the top three will get the pro cards? I was like, yes, I was like, oh my god, this is just freaking amazing. It's just not that I'm gonna be third, second or first. It's like, I'm also going to get my pro card. This is just a dream come true. I didn't even think this was gonna be possible. You know, I was just like, like, you have to, I, I don't even know what I was thinking about in that moment. I was just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I got two third places and two pro cards in the British finals um, and then there was gonna be a pro show the week after um, the finals so I was like oh, I don't know if I can do it because obviously like pre prep is really expensive and by the time I was having private PT classes which were really really expensive so my gym um, which is um, here in Italy, it's called the Atrium. They sponsor me for the last two weeks of prep from regionals to finals. So I was like, I don't know, I'm just gonna see if they will be able to sponsor me again because now I need to buy a new membership because now it has to be the pro one. And there's hotels again and tan again. It's like a lot of expenses. So I didn't think I was gonna do it, but everybody was like, yes, yeah, you should do it, you should do it, you should do it. So I was like, okay, you know what? It's just one more week. Let's do it. So I went to the pro show. Again, no expectations at all. Um, I didn't place in bikini. It was, I mean, clearly it was so hard. Now, if, if before I was like, I'm not placing because I'm against the best of the best. Now I'm against pros. So like freaking amazing girls. Um, I was also the smallest there. If you see the pictures, it's hilarious. They're all super tall, super long legs, and then it's like my me, tiny little one over there. Um, anyway, I didn't place in bikini, but I did place in model. I mean, we were only three, so I was gonna be top three anyway. I was happy about it, and it doesn't matter. I was like, yeah, I'll, just, I'll get a medal, that's fine. To my surprise, I got first. I got a gold medal, in bikini model pro and i got 500 pounds seriously i was just smiling the whole week after i was just so happy it was just like oh, just thinking about possibilities and how great was life and beautiful here i introduce you to my cat that's all of the noises that you've been hearing in the background Thank you. Anyway, that is the recap of the 2017 season and now we're going to talk about my plans for 2018. Yes, last year I said it was going to be my last competition, but as I said, I had such an amazing experience and UKUP made it everything so great um, and so amazing that I was just like, I kind of think I want to compete again this year. Should I? Should I not? Yes. So this time I'm doing three different federations because uh, with UKUP I can only do the pro show and there is only going to be one pro show this year. Um, so I was like, well, if I'm 
you know, preparing again to compete. I want to try another federations, um, try different kind of posing and, and, you know, like different, different stuff and see, and see how it goes. So here you have all of the federations I'm going to compete in. So my first competition is going to be on May 13th in Body Power and it's going to be the UKUP Pro Show. This time it's going to be even harder than it was in the previous pro show because this time there is even more pros competing. Again, I don't expect to place. Uh, it would be amazing because my parents are coming to see me because the next day is my 30th birthday. So if I place, it would be a great birthday present. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I'm not going with any expectations whatsoever. The following week, on the 20th of May, I'm competing with Next Fitness Models UK in Derby. Um, this is a new federation that I found, I was just like, I don't know how I found them, I think on Instagram, I found them on Instagram, um, and I'm competing with them because actually the prices, if you win the overall, are quite interesting. Um, so apart from like cash prices and, you know, sponsorships and things like that, that pretty much like all federations will have, they give you the opportunity to compete internationally in Italy. Therefore, if you win the overall, you are going to go to Italy with Global Bodybuilding Organization, with the GBO, to compete. You know what? I'm just going to try it. It's going to be a week after the other show. My tan probably won't like it that much because that's what happened between finals and the pro show. But anyway, um, I need to try it because actually being able to win overall, if that happens, um, will give me the opportunity to go to Italy to compete, which will be amazing. And it will be literally great, you know, something to remember forever. So yes, I had to give it a try. I don't know how is it going to be, if I'm going to be good or not, but I have to try. Then my third competition, we was going to say third now, my third competition is going to be Tubros Pro, the London City Pro Qualifier in London on the 23rd, 24th of June. Um, I still don't know exactly which day I will be competing, which I hope they tell soon so I can book hotels and buy spectator tickets because they are dividing it by classes so I think one day is going to be certain classes and women, male, bodybuilding, bikini and things like that so I still don't know which one of those two days is going to be but yeah, 23rd or 24th of June it will be Tubros Pro I decided to compete in this organization because of the opportunity to be able to win an IFBB Pro card um, it would be amazing to be able to win an IFBB Pro card and eventually be able to compete in a pro show and have the opportunity to, to go to the States and compete in, in, in the Olympia, uh, which will be like freaking amazing. Um, for this organization, um, again, it's gonna be a little bit different, the kind of posing is gonna be completely different to what I'm used to. So I'm really excited to try a new kind of posing um, and creating completely different routines for each of the federations, you know, things that are more, um, address to those federations and to what they like so I can actually see how versatile I am and how much can I like be a chameleon kind of say you know how can I just like adapt to different federations uh, so yeah that's my main goal be able to adapt and be able to um, deliver what they want and what they want to see later on at the end of July uh, the UKUP is having the first World Cup in Milton Keynes and I'm still waiting for confirmation to see if we actually have a team for Spain and if I will be able to compete there. So that's another possibility at the end of July, compete with UKUP again, which will be great because I love UKUP. Um, and compete representing my country. And finally, I'm competing again on the 7th of October, so they will have another kind of like prep, a lot of months again <laughs> to prep uh, for this show. But it's the 7th of October in Wales and it's with uh, Next Fitness Model UK again. And I'm competing in this one because uh, I think like if you qualify, if you win your category in the previous show that I will do in May, you automatically can go on the 7th of October and compete for the overall there. But if for some reason I don't place, I will be able to do it again and try again. 
um, and try to compete for the other overall there because the only difference with that overall is that if you win you will go with the global bodybuilding organization to Texas to compete in the Mr. and Mrs. Atlas so it's yes Texas yeah um, and the good thing is like I have also a few subscribers from my YouTube channel my Spanish one that are from Texas so it would be great to actually do a little meet up with them um, when I go to compete um, so yeah that would be amazing if I would be able to you know win the overall and go there and compete in Texas so those are all of the federations and competitions I'm doing this year I'm really excited to try uh, Next Fitness Models UK and Two Bros Pro uh, I don't know how they are so it's really exciting to try something new and see how these federations are yeah let's see what happens now let's talk about prep I'm going to talk a little bit about um, who is coaching me, um, who is doing my posing and who's doing my bikini so you have an idea about everything uh, and then when I talk about them in my blogs you know who they are pretty much. So my coaches are SW Fitness, they are a couple, um, future husband and wife, who took me in the last four weeks of my prep in 2017 they took care of my nutrition and this year round they are taking over my whole prep so they do my workouts and my nutrition they are taking care of everything um, I decided to go with them because I had such a great experience they were checking with me pretty much like every day for the last four weeks of my prep um, I now check with them every week they are super approachable they are so so nice that you know when you have a prep and your coaches are super nice and they have your back that's when like you can relax and you know do your prep so if you're actually thinking about prepping and and you don't know who to choose like check them out they're really good I seriously recommend them hundred percent they are from Scotland and we pretty much do everything online through whatsapp and through their website so I leave the website down below just in case you want to check them out let's talk about posing Posing together with the glam and everything else, I think is one of the most important parts of the whole presentation uh, once you are on stage. You can have an amazing physique, but if you don't know how to work that physique on a stage, if you don't know how to, you know, get into the angles that actually are going to make your body look bomb, then you have nothing to do. So. This year I'm going again with Hannah Reese. She took care of my routines for all of my shows, but unfortunately I could only have two classes with her. Um, which I mean, it was good. Like we had two classes, we did pretty good routines, and and I think actually they were pretty well. Like I placed in every single one of my shows. So I mean, even though we did two classes, it was great. So she's amazing two classes and look the results you know so this year I decided to do more classes with her so we are going to do about 10 classes this year before all of my shows so I'm already practicing with her we had a posing session like two weekends ago it is really hard to pose when you are fluffy you know an off season you have that extra fluff you don't look that great on your bikini I mean I still fit in my bikini bottoms but they are a bit tight. Anyway, it is hard to pose when you don't look amazing, but she makes you feel so great with yourself and makes you feel beautiful that even though you're posing and you might not look amazing, you feel amazing, so you give your everything in every single class. So yes, if you're thinking about finding a posing coach and you are close to London, I would say literally check her out because she is the boss. She is Finally, let's talk about bikini. I already have my bikini in the making. We had to change the design. Well, the design, the... Yeah, I will say the design of the bikini. It ha it's not the same shape. The top is not the same shape. And the bottom is going to have a different kind of vibe as well than the one that I was thinking because Tubros Pro require a different kind of bikini. So it has to be more the bikinis that you see in the United States, less the kind of bikinis that you see in Europe. So we're going to go for triangle at the top 
Um, last year I wore a different kind of one, more like a round shape, more like a cup one. Um, and this time it's going to be triangle. We already have the color. Uh, it's a color that you have not really seen on a stage that much, which makes me really excited because obviously on a stage you want to stand out, right? Um, oh, I didn't say. My bikini is being done by Kat, which is the owner of Bikini BKB, one of the sponsors of UKUP. She is amazing. Seriously, I have no words for this woman. She she cares so much about every single person that she does bikinis for that when you put your bikini on you just feel like I don't know you just feel unique you feel like like it's your baby as well you know I mean she made it but it's your baby she's with you on whatsapp all the time she sends you pictures of the bikini she she knows her stuff you know you can say actually like I remember at the beginning when I did my last bikini and I was like she was like what Bra size are you? And I was like, I think I'm this size. And then she was like, send me a picture. No, you need to get like this size. And I was like, damn girl, like that's two size, two cups, like two sizes and just a big huge cup for me. You know, that's not the usual bra that I would wear. Um, and she was like, you need to look proportional on a stage. So your your top cannot be too tiny because then you, you won't look symmetrical, right? I was like, okay, well, I trust you, you know your thing about bikinis, and I'm so glad I did, because I think I looked great. My bikini was amazing. To me, it's my little jewel, and I will always keep it. People is now selling their bikinis. I am never selling that bikini. It's just a piece of art. I'm not selling that bikini. That stays with me forever. She, like, customer service is... I was like more than 10, like a 20 out of 10. It's, it's amazing. And her knowledge, uh, the amount of work that she puts in. She made like last minute changes to my bikini bottoms because I lost so much weight. So all those little things are the things that you appreciate, you know, and you are paying money for it, but you don't mind because you know that that bikini is going to be perfect. Obviously, this time I'm going with her again, no doubt, um, and I am so excited to see my bikini. I know that she's putting the crystals on at the moment, so yes, I'm gonna get to see it real soon. Well, I am going to finish this video here because I think it's getting too long, and you might not be interested in all of these chit chat with me. Um, maybe you're interested in more other things. I'm going to start uploading more regular videos, more physique updates, like probably I will do one at 12 weeks out and then every two weeks from then to see how things are going, how my body is changing, uh, so then people can follow up and you know if you have any questions, any suggestions of videos you want me to do, uh, write them down below because yeah, any suggestion is good for me. If you like this video or you don't want to miss any other of my videos, please remember to subscribe, otherwise you won't get notified every time I upload a video, which this year is going to be more often, I promise. Um, and yes, please like the video and comment below. I'll see you soon in my next video.